I am only going to be buying foods that have been rated one star. So the foods that people have tried and really did not like. And I'm going to be eating that for 24 hours for a full day. So I feel like we should start by searching the word breakfast. Oh. When you find out I can't spell. And we're going to sort this by average customer review. And then we're going to go to the end, which is the lowest rated items. I already saw something that caught my eye. This fresh and wild organic bran flakes. Because they've got one star rating. And they're actually quite expensive. But they do come with a lot. Morrison's mini hash brown potato bites. That sounds delicious. I've got no idea where that one person went and gave it one star. I am shocked that the Pringles salt and vinegar vinegar are one star rated. I mean, to be fair, they only have one review, but we're gonna add that. And then we're also gonna add this pop chips, salt and vinegar as well. Should we read the bad reviews on the tortilla chips? The reviews on the tortilla chips say stale and heavy and look and taste extremely processed. I mean, you're eating a freaking tortilla chip. I'm looking for some actual food now because this is all we're gonna be eating. So we need like actual solid savory food. So I found these frozen ready meals that are actually a little bit expensive. Most of them have got either no reviews or really bad reviews. So perfect for this video. Like a food science project from the 1970s. 70s. Price is only an issue in the absence of value. This was really nasty, not worth what was paid. Like a food science project from the 1970s, no redeeming factors, no quality ingredients. My hungry family recycled the whole meal after a freezing afternoon. I'm so happy because this is exactly what I needed for this video. So I'm going to get two different one rated meals from this company. I'm also going to get a bunch of other different things and not show you because I want you guys to be surprised when the groceries arrive in my house. So here we've got one full bag of one star rated groceries. I do admit that I got a little bit carried away and I might have bought a lot of things. It's not my fault they've got so many one star rated products. So these are the foods that I picked for breakfast. I tried to go for things that despite the fact that it was one star rated, they actually look like things that I would potentially enjoy. This is definitely going to be a weird combination, but the thing is they didn't really have one star rated milk. The only one star rated milk they had was chocolate milk, so we're going to do that with the breakfast cereal. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cook the hash brown and I'll see you guys in just a second so we can try everything. Good morning guys, I hope you're hungry. I am hungry, but this is officially our one star rated breakfast. Every food in here has been rated one star on Amazon Fresh. I think we should start with the Cadbury chocolate chip brunch bar because you know what they say, always start breakfast with the most amount of sugar. One side is covered in chocolate chips and the other one is literally covered in chocolate. It tastes like Cadbury chocolate more than anything. It's so sweet and chocolatey. This is a dessert, not a brunch bar, but it is delicious, but this is candy, <laughs> not a breakfast bar. So here we've got the hash browns. These came frozen and I cooked them for like 15 minutes. I definitely overcooked some of them, so we can't judge those ones. I'm actually a little bit confused about this one. Let me just eat like a couple more for science. You guys know that I keep it real and to be fair, this is not a five star food product. Like it doesn't taste the best. These are not the best hash browns I've ever had, but this is definitely not one star material. So stop being dramatic Amazon reviewers. This is fine. This is like three star. I think I just dropped one. And last but not least, this is definitely the weirdest combination. We're gonna do the organic cereal with the chocolate milk. This is really weird, but I'm gonna try the cereal just dry first, just to make sure like our judgment is not gonna be clouded. That tastes healthy. <laughs> that tastes so organic. Maybe the chocolate milk will improve it. I mean, I can't think of anything that could not be improved by adding chocolate milk to it. I love this brand. This brand is my whole childhood. I will swear by this brand of chocolate milk, but this tastes so bad. I am the trashiest YouTuber out there. I love the weirdest, worst foods in the world, but this is so freaking weird. We're still gonna add it to the, to the cereal and hopefully it's gonna improve both. Oh, that is a weird combination. 
Let's add one more for science. Oh, that is chunky. These milks are really weird. I understand why these are rated one star. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but this is so chunky. It's like chocolate custard. I am lost for words. I am officially shook because somehow these two ingredients put together, they make it taste okay. Individually, I would not eat this. I mean, I probably would, but overall breakfast was pretty good. I even like the hash brown, so. Next time I see you guys, it will be lunchtime, I think. This might seem like a lot of food after such a big breakfast, but I really wanted to try a lot of different things. In the UK, Pizza Express is actually a very popular brand, so I was shocked to see that on Amazon Fresh, the Lorraine pizza was one star rated, and I think it had like six different one star rates. This brand right here has an insane amount of products with one star rating, like people hate these foods, and they're very like bougie, as you can see, they're very expensive as well. This is like seven pounds, which is like ten dollars for a microwavable meal. It's kind of insane. We're gonna give this a try and possibly roast this, but not as hard as everyone did on the Amazon reviews. I really was shocked when I found out this Pizza Express pizza was only one star rated on Amazon because Pizza Express is so popular in the UK and it seems like it's generally loved, so I, I don't know what's going on with it. So I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm only doing a tiny slice because I'm not too hungry. I have officially lost faith in humanity because I cannot believe that someone rated this one star. It's flavorful, it's crispy, it's a perfect pizza that you can make at home. It's obviously not restaurant quality, so if you're expecting that, I guess you'd be disappointed. I think all these Amazon people are crazy, so I'm gonna go and try my next food, which is a beef... I don't, I don't really know how you pronounce it, I think it's like beef bourguignon or something like that. I've actually never eaten this food before, so it's not like I can compare it to some amazing time that I've tried this in a restaurant. I promise you I follow the instructions and this thing is overcooked times a million. It's literally burned. Maybe that's why it's got such bad reviews because I genuinely promise you that I actually followed the instructions. It's basically beef cooked with onions and a gravy sauce in the middle. I promise you I don't want this to be like me loving everything. I actually chose things that I thought maybe I'm not gonna like this too much. But this is good. I think this was like five pounds or even more than that. So it is a little bit expensive. So I'll give to people the fact that they were probably disappointed with the size because it is very tiny. It's a very small amount of food. But in terms of flavor, this is, this is pretty incredible. Easily one of the best microwavable like ready meals that I've ever had. I actually really like both So next time I see you guys it will be afternoon snack and afternoon snack will be a good one So definitely stay tuned basically for afternoon snack We're just gonna be eating an insane amount of chips or crisps All of these were one star rated and I find it really hard to believe that these are not gonna be any good Especially this ones and those ones because I think I might have tried them before and they are fine I couldn't really find a one star rated dip for the lightly salted tortilla chips because this is like a diet product a lot of people say that this is not very good so we're gonna go and find out as well it is officially afternoon snack time and for afternoon snack we're practically going to be eating a million different types of chips which I'm not complaining about I love potatoes potatoes are my favorite vegetable is potatoes a vegetable? Let me know in the comment section. So we've got these sea salt pop chips. I can't remember what the review said, but they were definitely one star only. I think pop chips are like potato chips, but they're made in the oven maybe, because they're a little bit healthier. They don't have a whole lot of flavor, so I can see why someone would hate that, but I mean, it does say sea salt on it. Obviously, me being trash, I don't think this is as good as like deep fried like potato chips like covered in grease and oil, but they're not bad, they're all right. I've actually never tried the salt and vinegar Pringles, but I was really shocked that this is one star rated because Pringles is a generally loved product, so I, I don't understand. I think these crisps had two one-star reviews, and one of them said that the flavor was too strong. Wow, they are very sour, but also 
freaking delicious. I can't remember your username, person who gave this a one star review because they're too flavorful, but I would come for you. I would come to your house and I would probably make you eat them until you like them. These are some plain tortilla chips and the reviews on this one were ruthless. I think it said highly processed. I think it said it tasted bland. It was just everywhere. So we're gonna give them both a try and see if people are right, which I'm guessing they're not. The cheese is a little bland because there's no salt in it, so it kind of hits you like weirdly at first because all you get is texture and no flavor. I wouldn't give this like a one star rating though, that seems very excessive. These are like three star rating products to me, both the chips and the cheese, they're okay. And as usual, we are going to finish this video with a bang because these are probably some of like the weirdest ones in this video. This is probably the only product in this video that when I saw that this was one star rated by multiple people, I thought I'm not surprised. It just doesn't look very good, but obviously we could be wrong. We're gonna give it a try. I mean, I am trash. I practically like everything, so. And then we've got another one of these gourmet ready meals. On the actual picture, it does look amazing, so I'm gonna give it to them. And the packaging, as usual, is really really cool but the flavor is what matters at the end of the day so we're gonna see if this is any good as well of course we saved the best ones for last one of these is re actually both of these are kind of weird this is a one star rated beef and onion pancake and it's so freaking thin look at that maybe that's why people rated it one star because it's so tiny it tastes like food that you'd get at school like school lunch food I actually can't remember how much this cost, but if they were expensive, I'm gonna say for the first time in this video that I kind of understand the one star rating. I mean, they taste like school lunch food, but they definitely don't taste like something that you'd love to spend your money on. A little disappointing, but would I eat them again? Probably, because I am trash. And the main meal for dinner is another one of those ready meals that we had for lunch that I actually really enjoyed, the beef one. Let's open this up. Oh, that's very hot. This time around, I didn't cook it for the full amount because it was way too much with the other one. So we got some crispy bacon on top and then the rest is just potatoes with a lot of cream. Even considering the fact that I undercooked this on purpose, it's still like burned on the sides. I don't understand these meals. It is it is very hot though. That is probably the best one I've tried all day. You can't really see it on camera, but these potatoes are so incredibly like creamy and sweet and like good. Weirdly, it kind of tastes like a homemade meal. It's, it's pretty good. Mm. Oh my god, that is incredible. Not that anyone ever follows my food advice, but if you try one thing from this video, one of the one star rated foods, I would definitely recommend this one. This tastes like a five star food, so I don't know who upset the reviewers on Amazon. Maybe they couldn't cook this properly because it is burned on the sides, but if you ignore that and you eat just the cooked parts, it's very, very good. I'm just excited to eat this. Maybe I'm not gonna eat the pancakes, so I'm gonna save them if I'm hungry like later before I go to bed. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. I I know it's like a different one. I don't think anyone's ever done this. So I'm trying to do things that I've never seen before on YouTube. There's a lot of new videos and different things coming up this week. So don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is scroll down and there's a subscribe button and next to it, there's a little bell. And if you tap that bell, every time I put up a new food video, you'll receive a notification on your phone. And honestly, the YouTube subscription boxes have been broken like all week, all month, all the year. So it would actually help me out a lot if you tap the notification bell. I love you and as usual I'm gonna see you tomorrow because we're actually uploading every single day. Bye bye!